about this thing here. Look at this pole. A handy metal pole with a thousand and one uses. There you take it. It's all yours. Okay, now we got a pole. Now we can knock people out. Mm-hmm. Okay, so let's uh, destroy force field. So now we just gotta find how to get to that force field generator and destroy it. Find yourself at the base of a seemingly extinct volcano. Okay. He goes on all these weird adventures, but he never picks up a blaster. Uh, except in that one game, except in the first one. Yeah. The climb steeper has you near the rim of the old volcano. I guess it. That generator looked like it was on top of the volcano, so let's explore up here a bit. You reach the rim of the decayed cinder cone and are overwhelmed by the sight. An impressive machine of staggering size sits in the middle of the volcanic crater. Maybe you have to use the detonator. Look, machine. It's pointing to a small moon on the high Artagian sky. Pulsating circular energy fields are being emitted into space towards the moon. Maybe you should use the detonator. That's a good idea. It has an impact switch. Just drop it to set it off. Uh -oh. Should we do it? Drop detonator. And then we gotta run. Forget it! Think of something else. What? I don't know. He didn't let me do it. Maybe we have to get closer? Oh, boy. It's big. You're on the platform on the rim of the volcanic crater. A stairway leads down to the base of the massive force field generator. Wow, look at how huge this is. Explosion disables the force field generator. You may now travel safely to Pestilin. Oh, I thought that it explodes like, the whole outside too. Yeah. All right, let's climb down the ladder. Oh, climb down ladder. All right. <laughs> okay. So now we can get back to our ship and, and fly to Pestilin and save the two guys from Andromeda. If we don't save them, then how will, how will they finish writing this game? <laughs> Uh-oh. That detonator has apparently set off a chain reaction of earthquakes! You'd better get off this rock ASAP. As soon as possible. Alright. Now we're being timed. Oh boy, oh boy. Here we go. Don't even stop to look at stuff. Just run. 
Run, 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 run. Don't you have to type in run? No, you push plus and you go faster, but it makes everything go faster then. It makes time go faster too, so it's not always a good idea. Oh. Maybe you should slow down. Oh, save just so that we can escape. Escape! Let's take another detonator. You pick up one of the detonators. Be careful, you could blow your fingers off with that thing. Alright. You have to hurry. Hurry to our ship. Uh oh. My, my, things have certainly changed since you were here last. That unstable rock has fallen into the simmering lava below. So we can't go that way. Maybe we could go over here. Oh no. Our ship is up there and we can't reach it. Oh boy! Almost walked right off. Can't go down here. Oh, there's rocks. a triangle here. There's a I think we could we could jump it. It's worth the try and we saved. So. It's too rough. Not now. Jump. It's probably too far to jump. What do we have that we can get us past there? Metal pole! Oh, you think we could pole vault across it? No. He can balance on stuff. Use pole to cross chasm. Use pole. Oh, there we go. Your brow furrows in grim determination as you prepare for a tremendous leap. Oh, he is pole voting. Ah! The impact of your landing set off the thermal detonator. Your fragments are strewn over a wide area. Yeah, maybe we should have been the detonator. Be more careful with explosives. Didn't mom always tell you not to play with firecrackers? Alright, so we won't take the... Thermal detonator. Hold on, let's just check to see if we have it. We don't. I've saved before I took it. Okay. So, um. Let's, here we go. Use pull. Yeah, yeah. The Romanian drudge gives you a 9.5, a truly outstanding jump by one of the finest young athletes we've seen this season. You'd like to try that again, but your pole seems to have fallen into the tumultuous lava below. Come on, we gotta hurry. Yeah. Let's get off this planet. Fire up our engines and take off. Thrust generation underway. Navigation system. Adequate thrust achieved. Take off. Okay, now let's use the navigation. Let's see if we can find Pestilin. Mr. Bobo would... I mean, a lot of good, good heroes have a pet... have a monkey sidekick. Yeah. Let's zoom. Let's see if we can find this moon. Nope. That planet. Nope, I've had my fill of monolith burger. Ah, there it is. Name Pestilin, Sector 69. Habitants unknown, surface uncharted. It figures. Let's set course. Standing by, calculating course. Course locked. Flashing message on your monitor attracts your attention. Throttling engines back, orbiting Pestilon. All right, let's land our ship. Of course, it has to be safe. Mm -hmm. With a mighty wump, you set the aluminum mallard down on the surface of Pestilon. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, this is 
us. What a peaceful planet for a software company, you think to yourself. What a shame it had to be Scumsoft. You are surrounded by what can only be described as tree-like growths towering high above you. The turf has a mossy Wait, texture. Wasn't some uh, Scumsoft the one, uh, the company that we got the whistle from? No, that was the Gipizoid Novelty Company. Uh, Actually, I think it was Gipizoid, like they jip you. Well, this is going to be a long, let's play video. Yeah. You make your way through the forest of strange trees to this clearing where you discover the entrance to some large underground complex. This must be Scumsoft. Suddenly the door to the complex begins to open. Several guards file out of the entrance and disperse into the woods. They must have been alerted to your presence when you landed. Two guards remain behind to watch the entrance. Okay. Look, headquarters. So they're looking for me now. So, um... Decision time! Do you wish to... I guess, let's enter Scumsoft. playing Space Quest 3. As usual, you've been a real hoot. Alright. Wear the uh, belt. You're already wearing it. Push button on belt. Wow! This thing really works! And then quick, you then quickly realize that you only have a few moments before the belt's power pack is depleted. Okay, let's enter the building. I'm not really invisible, but they can't see me. Scum soft entrance. I wonder what's back here. Oh! Oh no! You've stepped into an electrical force field, and as a result, you are fried to a crackly crunch. You're toast, dude! Congratulations on your recent death. Thanks for playing Space Quest 3. As usual, you've been a real hoot. Okay, so let's go inside. Oh, it's wearing off. What's happening? It looks like you've made it just in time, as your invisibility belt is now completely out of power. Okay, let's get in before they see us. The elevator door is tightly sealed. There is a button on the wall by the elevator. Okay. Let's give it a push. Yay, we're inside. Oh. Strange. You are in a hallway, some way deep in the innards of Scumsoft Incorporated. This is weird. Oh, past the door. It's in here. Oh. Security! Uh oh. Okay, so I guess. We... What up with the jello? What? What up with the jello? He they... can just eat his way out. That's what they're armed with jello guns. Just like mom used to make. I guess, but he suffocates. There's no air in there. Alright, so we don't want to go in that room. That room gets us killed. Alright, let's save. Once we're in here. <laughs> uh, save it as scum soft. I'm scoffed. <laughs> Alright. So we'll skip that door and let's go in the next door. Oh, there's a door. Don't. Why do they hate you so 
so much. <laughs> I can't get in. Oh. Keep bumping into the wall. Da. There we go. No. Are you gonna put all of this in one video? No, I'll probably split it up. There we go. All right. Look. You find yourself in, guess, a janitor's closet. You certainly have a sixth sense about this kind of thing. Ooh, cool. Search closet. <laughs> Rummaging about the cramped closet, you find a pair of old, grimy janitorial coveralls. What a great idea, Roger! No one would be suspicious of a janitor walking around. They're like overalls, kind of like... You grab the coveralls and put them on, seizing the opportunity, the opportune moment to dump all of the old items you've been pocketing along the way. What a great disguise! Wait, what's this? You reach down into the pocket of the grimy coveralls and find... Well, what do you know? Mr. Garbage! A trash vaporizer! You've seen these babies in all the janitorial supply catalogs but your superiors were always too cheap to outfit you with one. Ooh. So we got a vaporizer. Mr. Garbage, a janitor's best friend, designed to vaporize all non-organic biodegradable matter, matter i.e. trash. And coveralls. A pair of janitor's coveralls, used for looking the part. So maybe now they won't think I'm a bad guy. Let's save. Or something. All right, then. Door. The door has a keycard security system as well as a composite facial scanner. It will be pretty tricky gaining access. The door is locked. Look in the coveralls, because usually janitors are allowed anywhere, so they yeah. need a keycard. Maybe you're right. Tampering with the security system can only lead to misfortune. Search coveralls. Nope, doesn't search suit. Look, coveralls. Yeah, use keycard. Easier said than done without the proper keycard, so I guess we don't have it. Uh, usually, Janet is, is supposed to have keycards. What is this? But at least you can vaporize people, okay? <laughs> Well, I think it only vaporizes non-organic garbage. Oh, we're back outside. Ah, oh, why? I'm just a janitor. Thank you for playing Space Quest 3. I don't get that. I don't know either. They're mean. Alright, so, we won't go in that door. We won't go in that door. Or that one. See what else is here. Oh, there's a door. Oh, it's the room we were in before. Oh, he ignored me this time. Okay, cool. All right. You are in the cost-efficient corporate accounting department of Scumsoft Incorporated. These hard-working accountants are trying to figure out where the company spends its money. Okay. Uh, I think it spends most of its money on... on Jello to load its... their guns. <laughs> Everyone looks related. It's like a secret society of nerds. <laughs> so I can't talk to him. Security! What? what? What did that say? How could that? He's a janitor. Back. Who shoots a janitor? <laughs> hmm. 
You have blown your cover. You have demonstrated a surprising lack of janitorial skill. Perhaps this would be an an opportune time to Wait, brush up on your technique with Space Quest 1 and 2. We didn't demonstrate our janitorial skill. Oh. So, what do you think that means? That they thought we were just walking through. Maybe you should type clean. Clean? Nope. Security, we have an intruder in accounting disguised as a janitor. Oh, because we're walking past without emptying their garbages, probably. That's probably why they're killing us. So we should empty their garbage before we walk past them. Alright, so let's uh, restore... Look, garbage. Such a sight. Empty so, trash. No, um. Vaporize trash. Vaporize trash. Ah, look at that. Now they'll think oh, we're look, a janitor. There's another one. Okay. These people don't talk to me. Yeah. yeah, we'll do that one. Maybe we could get a cup of water while we're here. Oops. As might be expected, the water cooler is empty. Yeah. Alright, well, let's see what's in here. The cabinet is locked. Regardless, you wouldn't find anything useful. Still, you have to clean the trash so they know that you're suspicious. Yeah. Uh, maybe I trash. Okay. Cool, cool. I actually wouldn't mind to be a janitor. <laughs> well, it's a lot harder than this, I'm sure. There's a lot harder jobs. Like cleaning and moving things. And... But there's worse jobs you can get, that's for sure. Look at that picture at the bottom. That nerdy guy. <laughs> Here's them all typing Both away. There's another one. It's this memo. No, I guess that's nothing. But you have to keep on vaporizing the trash. Okay. <laughs> up there. No, oh, I can't go through this way. Let's keep going here. Just a dead end. Alright, I'll walk over this way. Looks like there's a copy machine down there. There's more trash. I'm just a janitor emptying the trash. I'm not trying to rescue the two guys from Andromeda. So just. Oops, I missed. Alright, there we go. Okay, there's 
piece of trash right there. Okay. And there's another one. Mm-hmm. I'm going to just go back to work. Mm-hmm. Just ignore me. I'm uh, just a janitor. Mm-hmm. That's all I am. It would be funny like, if, his pet, if the monkey like, started walking in. Ooh. You are in the boss's cubicle area, and the boss is in. Be reverent. Look at those guys on the right. They have whips. <laughs> are they programmers? Boss's yeah. trash. Save. I'm gonna save over this one here. I'll call this boss's room. Well, whatever. I saved it. Talk to man. Just do your job and scram! He bellows in response. Oof. Uh, mean boss. Is the... uh, Behind the desk sits a boy who looks to be about 14 years old. Do your job and get out, he blurbs. 14? Yeah, he's a young boss. He must be the boss's son. Look at them whipping them. They're, they're whipping those poor guys sitting in these, those cubicles. Over the top of the partitions, you can see two gentlemen cracking whips. You assume that it must be the programming department. Yep, they're whipping the programmers. Work, work, work faster. Everybody work. It's over here. Mm. My ship. And some enemy ships. You stand on a platform overlooking the Scumsoft vehicle bay. In the center of the hangar sits your ship, surrounded by, by rows of short-range skull fighters. Now, how would you ever get out of here? Oh dear, they captured my ship. Can you, maybe I could jump down. Oh, the boss was out. Did you see that? Jump down. Not now. Wait a minute, now he's back. But if I leave and come back, he's out. Cool. Maybe I could search his room. Vaporize trash. Aren't you taking this janitor bit a little too seriously? <laughs> Search the desk. All of the desk drawers are locked. However, someone has carelessly left a key card on the desk. Ooh. Let's take it. Take key card. You're not near one. Is that what this is over here? You take the key card. Yes. So now we can get in that door. Alright, let's go let's go get in that door that we couldn't get in before. Spike cool. Mm-hmm. Save. Bosses why is it not typing? Bosses key card. Okay. You type fast. Yeah, that's from playing these games. So it got me to type fast. That's why when you go home, you should play them. I think I put them on your computer. Practice oh, typing yeah, with it. Alright. So now let's see if we can get in that room. So bad. All right, there we go. Insert key card. You hear several clicks. I'm in. You think to yourself. Then you hear a synthesized voice say, "Key card verified. Stand by for a composite facial scan." Uh -oh. oh no! It's scanning my face. Composite facial scan complete. Access denied. 
I don't look like the boss. How can we? How can we look Maybe like the boss? You have to take a picture of um. Yeah. Take a picture of him and then put it in no, front of it. Take a picture of you and then. Why me? It's, it's already scanning my face. I know, but if you use a different key card, then um. It, like a key card with his face on it? No, a key card with you. Yeah. A key card with your face on it. And then it'll well, put you through it. What about that picture over there hanging on the wall? Oh, yeah. Alright. Elmo Pug, the boss. Okay, so that's the boss's picture. Let's take it. Surreptitiously, you snatched the picture of Elmo. Nice. Now we can use this. What's this guy doing? Security, we have an intruder in accounting disguised as a janitor. He saw that the picture was missing. How does he know that it was you? I guess because he saw me leaving and he didn't recognize me. That's someone familiar to him. Okay, so what do you think we can do? If we take the picture and leave, he'll discover us. Let's see what's in here. There is a color copy machine which, oddly enough, is not currently under repair. It's a copy machine. What do you think we should do? Um, maybe repair it? Well, it's, it's already working. Think we could copy the picture? Copy. First, making sure that no one is watching, you slip Elmo's picture into the copier and press the start button. Out pops a beautifully reproduced copy, which you roll up and stash in your pocket. Don't forget the original. The original put back on the wall fast. Mm-hmm. Put picture on wall. Wisely, you replace the original picture of Elmo. So now I've got a copy of Elmo's picture. A fine like likeness of a likeness of Elmo Pug's mug. <laughs> All right, let's go back there and uh, get in that room. We couldn't get in before. Oh, dead end. Just ignore me, I'm just a janitor. Just ignore me, I am just a janitor. Alright, here we go. Okay. Insert key card. Oh, you have to put the picture of your face. Put picture in front of scanner. Um, do me a favor and try rephrasing that thought, okay? Put Cover, no. Uh, insert no. key card. Don't, don't insert key card yet. Until we... Cover face with picture. Use, ugh. You, you think I should use the picture first? Use picture. You wouldn't be able to see where you were going. Um, insert key card. I think we have to insert it first, and then we get like a moment to type, and then we use picture. There we go. Now it's scanning Elmo's face, and it let us in! Yes! No! 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 Oh. It's probably a very important room. But doesn't the <laughs> Insert key card. All right. Okay, now click. Use picture. Okay. Let's hope this 
Xbox. Yes. We're in. Huh? <gasps> there they are. Call this two guys. You cautiously enter a darkened chamber. A seemingly bottomless shaft drops off in the black abyss. Yeah, it was two guys from mm -hmm. Andromeda. On a platform in the center of the chamber, the two guys from Andromeda wiggle helplessly in lime jello. The platform can only be reached by the four retractable bridges at each entrance. <gasps> oh, that was a long wait for that splat. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for janitor kind. You have taken the big plunge. Alright. Two guys. Two guys! This is a commercial, I remember. How do we get across? Jump across. Jesse Owens, you ain't. Okay. Who's Jesse Owens? Remember in Star Wars, there was a, there was a thing like this. I don't remember who just... I think he was a guy who, could, who won like the jumping long jump. But remember in Star Wars there was an area like this, and there were controls to extend a bridge. Where were the controls in Star Wars? No. I don't want to leave. Um, no. We try to remember. Um. <laughs> Do you remember? Um. Remember in Star Wars when they. Which Leia which says, find the controls that extend the bridge. And Luke says, I think I just blasted it. Which one is that again? It, was, it was on the wall. Other than the tightly sealed doors, the walls reveal no exits. See the controls on those walls? Yeah. An array of control buttons adjoins each door. See, there's controls here, and there's controls here. So there's got to be controls. Um, look at what you have. You might have something to help. Got a key card, coveralls, vaporizer, and a copy of Elmo's picture. Maybe the vaporizer? Use vaporizer. Oops. Err. From where you stand, it couldn't be done. Okay. Look, controls. An array of control buttons adjoins each door. Look, buttons. Okay, push buttons. Oh, there we go. That extended a bridge. Look at guys. Help! They slurp from their jello encased captivity. Well, not cavity. So they're still alive. How can we get them out? Maybe vaporizer. You can vaporize the jello and I'll go. You successfully free the two guys from their slimy confines, and they begin to speak. Good job, Jake. How Thank. Are, what's up? How are they gonna help us? I don't know. Let's find out. Thanks, dude. It's great to be out of that green stuff. Hey, what's your name? I mean, they designed the game, so they probably know it better than we do. Roger Wilco, you admit. They discovered our distress message we coded into the Astro Chicken game and sent us here for, as punishment. Let's get out of here before we're discovered. Uh-oh. Let's talk to them. So oh, what? Oh, there's the wrong voice. So what was your plan for getting us out of here, Wilco? Uh-oh. Uh oh, we're surrounded, and there's Elmo. Nobody's going anywhere. <laughs> you must have thought you were pretty clever, Mr. Welko, disguising yourself as a janitor. Unfortunately for you, my boys found your sorry excuse for a ship in the woods. Escort this gentleman to the arena. You boys haven't seen a good fight in quite a while. And do away with those two Andromedans. They have been more trouble than they're worth. Take them away. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
Uh oh. Who am I going to be fighting? Uh huh. You, Elmo? Two you and the two guys are separated and escorted away. A door opens and you are led into the dark unknown. Wow, we lost a lot of points for getting captured. Were we supposed to get captured? We have 737 before, I think. Oh, yeah, we get to ride in something. What is this? This is awesome. Instructions. Use our, oh. Okay, Wilco, the name of the game is Nukem Dukem Robots. The only rule is that there are no rules. Use the arrow keys to control your robot. Use J to punch and M to block. Oh, Press I'm any awesome key to start. You want to try it? You have a limited power supply. A successful blow will absorb my robot's energy and vice versa. On the other hand, a wasted movement of any kind will rapidly deplete your robot's power. Sounds like fun, huh? I can't see. Anyway, here's the deal. If you win... <laughs> You have the honor of becoming Scumsoft's new full-time janitor. Haha. <laughs> but if I win, uh, you die. <laughs> I think that's die. what it said. <laughs> oh, by the way, your friends, the two guys from Andromeda, have joined us, as you can see below. Be careful not to step on them. <laughs> Let the game begin. Okay, you can do this. JJ! Let me just save here. I'm gonna save over. Arnold is after me. I'll save this as. Nukem. Dukem Robots. Kick his butt, Roger Wilco! Uh, try it. Uh oh. J. Punches M blocks and the arrows move. <laughs> uh oh. Well, it looks like you've depleted your power. The last thing you see is your blood slowly spreading across the arena floor. Wait, how did that happen? Down for the count. Better hang out at the gym more often. We beat you up. Oh, I fell. Yeah. If you use up too much energy, you die. So you, have, you can't, when he's blocking, don't punch him. <laughs> Good hit. Scared, Emma? <laughs> <laughs> Don't waste your energy. I'm blocking. I know, but you're still using your energy. You have just a little bit left. Oh! Yeah, I think you should do this. Okay. Let's try it again. Nukem Dukem. I want to show this guy who's boss. I think he conserves his energy better. And when you get a punch in, you get energy back. Oh! I'm winning now. Come on! You can do this! This is gonna be a good fight. Come on! Yes, I got him. Come on, let's get out of here. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Let's get on our ship. Get them, you fools. Get them. Oh, God, oh my God. Yeah. I thought he was dead because he fell. Mm hmm. Nice guy. <laughs> Can't do it. Mm hmm. Nice. 
try. Well, Roger, you done good. You managed to rescue the two guys and escaped from Pestle and Alive. Looks like this will be a milk run from here on out. Gosh, Rod, we really appreciate you saving us and all. Any chance, do you guys mm. have a monkey named Mr. Bobo? Seems like everyone ignores you. You think they'd be more grateful. <laughs> yeah, we were really scared. We didn't know what Pug was going to do to us. You better, you better hmm. deploy those shields. Yeah. Back and... Current sector 69. No core selected. Those jokers best back on Pestilin must have tampered with the light speed thingamajig. Oh, I can't go into light speed. Warning, short range fighters approaching from rear. Uh -oh. Weapons lock on detected. <gasps> Shield, back, and front. I can't do front and back. I can only do back. Target in rear. Oh, boy. In front. Uh, Out of range. Uh, I hate those. Target in front. Oh, boy. Oh. Having the correct shield up could have prevented this. The final shot shreds the side of your ship. In the sudden vacuum, your body fills. Fluids expand beyond the capacity of your tissues. Your desiccated body will drift forever. A grim testament to your blundering stupidity. Sudden decompression sucks. Oh no, we didn't save after Nukem Dukem Robots. We can do it on I could do it again, that's alright. That side. Come on, let's get out of here. Oh, we go whichever way he went. Okay. Get them, you fools! Get them. Um. How do you know he talks like that? Because he just looks like a guy that talks like that. <laughs> Make sure you put on the front, the front shields. Mm -hmm. When they're in front, I think we gotta put on. Well, Roger, you done good. Okay. I wonder if they say anything else. Let me save here, just for that. Do guys! He's still talking. Yeah, we were really scared. We really didn't know what the pug was going to do to us. Mm. Blah, 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 blah. He's nothing like a punk. Mm -hmm. Punks are cute. They have squishy <laughs> faces. Yeah, uh, don't you think we better get out of here? Pug's really, really sore, and he probably sent some ships after us. Warning, short range fighters approaching from rear. Weapons lock on detected. Okay. Let's look at this screen here. Okay. Current sector light speed non functional. Weapon system. Those jokers back on Feshelin must have champered with the light speed thingamajig. Uh, let's go in attack speed. Okay. Target. We are back. Let's call this dog fight. Why dog fight? Because it's a dog fight. <laughs> dog fights are with planes. Yeah, but it's sort of like with planes. So now I gotta put the shields in the front. I think they're in front. Oh, oh shoot! Did I do it in time? Yeah. Okay. Target negative. They're not there. Alright, let me save again. Just 
<laughs> that I have. <laughs> Target in rear. Uh-oh. Having the shields up could have prevented this. The final shot shreds the side of your ship. In the sudden vacuum, your body fluids expand beyond the capacity of your tissues. Your des desecrated body will drift forever. A grim testament to your blundering stupidity. All right. Um, I got to put it behind. All right. Now they're in front. All right. I can use the mouse, I think. Locked on. Yes. All right. I think they're gonna be in the back now. Okay. This is kind of like Star Wars, the targeting system. Mm -hmm. Good job. All right. Nice. Oh. Back. All right. Let's see. Yeah, good. Got the shields in the back now. I have to put them in the front. Come on. Lock on. Fire, I have you now. Booyah! They're in the back. All right. Get the hang of this now. All right. How many guys do you have to defeat? In rear. Oh. Not sure. In front. Good. Back. Okay. In rear. Oh, shields are depleted. Oh, the remaining enemy ships have given up and are heading back to the planet. It looks like you were just too much for them. Oh, good, because the shields just ran out. It's right on time. All right, let's turn this off. Oh, but what are we going to do? We have... We could go at attack speed. Well, they gave up, so... Yeah. Man, oh man, you really showed those bozos a thing or two. Now can we get something to eat? I'll go to Monolith Burger, I guess. You inform the two guys that light speed is no longer functional. They're not overly pleased by this piece of news. What? Now I'll never get any food. Some rescuer you are. Maybe a tax speed will help. Yeah. Hey, what's this thing on the wall? It says light speed maintenance access panel. Gee, maybe I can fix this bucket of plasti bolts. Yeah, this is it. This fan belt thing came off of the round thing it was just on. Just a second. Okay, she's all fixed. Let's go grab a burger. Too late! You've realized that you have no course laid in. The light engines kick in before you can override. You inform the two guys that light speed is now functional, but it's out of control. They're not overly pleased with this bit of news either. Ah, we're gonna die! Oh no! Why did I get up this morning? Nami! Careening blindly through space, your ship speeds toward a sizable black hole. Once within it, the gravitational black hole, there's no escape. You plunge into destiny. Oh, this is the end? Mm. I think so. Into four. The overwhelming force of the black hole draws your ship in. Helpless to do anything, you and your passengers strap in and hope for the best. You enter the blackness like no other you have ever experienced. All sense of time and speed are lost. Suddenly, <coughs> a bright light becomes visible in the distance. It grows larger as your ship races toward it. Finally, you are hurled out of the blackness into a parallel universe. Cut the engines to sublight speed as you near a seemingly habitable planet. Earth! Yeah, that's Earth. <laughs> Sierra. Sierra.
Sierra headquarters, the company that made this game. <laughs> Greetings, Earthlings! We are the two guys from Andromeda, universally famous software authors. And I am Roger Wilco, space-age swashbuckler and all-around nice guy. Hello, I'm Ken Williams, president and founder of Sierra Online. So, you two guys are software authors, eh? What are your credits? Ever heard of Astro Chicken? No. Good. How about you two guys coming to work for me? Sounds great. How many buckazoids does it pay? <laughs> buckazoids? Say, uh, Mr. Williams, do you need a janitor? <laughs> no. As our space saga comes to a close, Roger, feeling a little left out, struts off to his ship with the satisfaction of knowing his mission has been accomplished. The two guys from Andromeda go on to create the Space Quest series of adventure games, reaping fame and fortune. They grow fat on their success and soon become burnt out and begin a drunken tailspin into obscurity. What? <laughs> Kind of what really happened, too, which is... And so we bid our hero a fond farewell as his ship once again bursts into light speed. Course unknown. The end. So I didn't get anywhere near the full score. Well, you know, it's been like 20 years since I played this, so... Thanks to the following for their cooperation in the making of this game. Heschelin Department of Forestry. Monolith Synthetic Industries Incorporated. Fester's World of Wonders. Jipazoid Novelties. Flea Butt Sand Advisory Council. Arnoid Droid Works. Caffeinate 90. <laughs> Orbo Snack Food Inhalers. Friends of the Talking Bear Society. Mark Seibert, Bob Seisenberg, and Stuart Goldstein for their outstanding sound work. Doug Oldfield, Ken Koch, and Chris Smith for a great programming effort. Little people, nobody's scum would also like to thank Robert E. Bobbitt, Heitman, two babes from Andromeda, our wives, for putting up with us these last 12 months. <laughs> you! For shilling out your hard-earned bucks to buy this game! I guess we can, uh end the episode here and our final episode of Let's Play Space Quest 3, The Pirates of Pestilent. Join me for another Let's Play. We're going to try to do uh, King's Quest 4 before my yes. nieces and nephew leave. So we'll have both of the original Sierra Creative Interpreter um, games, the early Sierra Creative Interpreter games that came out in 1988 and 1989. And let me tell you I'll be back. I'll be back. You're Arnoid. Alright, so I'll sign out here. Goodbye.